is where he insists on being. Every time I put him down, straight up to here. Trophy straight down. The dogs are having a great time. Yeah, no, just because they'll stand by the gate and be annoying. I'm Emma and this is Edu. We're the founders of Tenerife Horse Rescue. We are a small non-profit, self-founded, eco-friendly animal sanctuary born in 2018. We are run by a great big family of volunteers. And an even bigger animal family. Don't forget to press the subscribe button to follow our Finca Life adventures every week. This is where he insists on being. Every time I put him down, straight up to here. Which I normally wouldn't mind, but it's covered in fleas and warts and... But every time I put him down, he just wants to be like, in my neck. And then I feel bad for leaving, because the second I leave, he still sc screams again. And uh, I'm gonna need a shower tonight, that's for sure. But I feel bad to leave the room, because then he's on his own. So I've relocated in here to do some social media to keep him company because even with company, he's still stressed. But it's slightly better. Luckily I don't have an allergy to fleas, right? Yeah, I don't need to be close to my mouth. And he's loud. I need to put this up down now. There is a reason why we have volunteers who can help film stuff. This is difficult alone. This little kitten just got dumped at the uh, entrance. Someone just dumped him down in the bag under a car. He's crawling with fleas. Unbelievably huge amount. I want to see if he can eat something. But the good news is that he can. She can eat. Because I thought maybe because she was in so much pain from her mouth that she wasn't going to be able to eat. And this is just the beginning. We are not a cat sanctuary. We're a horse and farmyard sanctuary. It's absolute um, skin and bone and uh, starving. But we don't understand why there was just one. And it's a bit convenient that somebody walking past like just found it. Bag under the car has been put on us because they know we're a sanctuary. But like I say, we are we are actually a horse and farmyard. Animal sanctuary, not a cat and dog one. However, we have around 40 cats now and kitten season is on. And we're getting called daily, every day. We are getting phone calls. Can you take a cat? Can you take kittens? Can you take a cat? Can you take more blah blah blah? And it's heartbreaking. But people like us and other sanctuaries which are in the same situation say no because we can't take them all in. We don't have the space, we don't have the money, we don't have, you know, the um, the the support to do them all financially mainly. And one more little bit. And then I keep saying every day, like no more cats, and then another cat arrives, but it's dumped on us, so what am I gonna do? Turn it away. But people just don't castrate their animals, they don't neuter their animals and then they have so many, I don't know exactly the amount but there's an amazing picture that I saw online about how quickly one cat had this many babies and this many babies had so many babies and it's hundreds so quick. And if people don't castrate their cats they just end up in the bin dying, suffering. This is a lucky one because it's here now but its gums are bleeding and it's got ulcers and it's got sores coming out of its mouth and they, I can't even put a pin between the fleas. Come then, Chavi. Keep going, because I'm trying to film. <laughs>
few of them. Oh, I'd be open that one as well, but... That, oh, that one you can open maybe because it's got two entrances. But we can figure that out later. Moving next door. Yeah, yeah look at the ferret watching. What's happening? Bruno's getting excited. I don't know how smooth my filming skills are. Oh, Bruni, look. Truth is straight down. I don't know if there's going to be any sound on this because it might be too windy and I haven't got the microphone. But no, no, it's there. Oh, yeah, the inside one. Yeah. What do you think, boys? You're the first two here. First two on the new land. Oh, <laughs> too much dust. Bruno's found the snacks. He's having such a good time already. <laughs> good stuff, hey Truth. So 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 <laughs> <laughs> Bruni, what do you think? You Hold on, I'm filming. <laughs> So I don't know if this is going to work to hear me because this is going to be for Finca Life. But, oh look, Bruno's found himself a snack straight away. But because we don't have Marino, he's not here today, so I'm going to do some filming on my phone. But I haven't had time to set up the microphone, so hopefully you can see me, hear me. But as you can see, the first two are in are Bruno and Trufa. The first one's in the new land, which is really exciting. Just outside there, we've got Fen working on some new accommodation. Wayne's just finishing off things in here. The dogs are having a great time because this paddock, we're just gonna have to do a last check that there's nothing on the inside, but it opens up and then they've got all of this undercover as well. So, we're gonna go now bring some more horses in and see how we go from there. <laughs> how exciting! <laughs> it's all about cleaning up, aren't you? Just getting all the yummy snacks. Yeah, what do you think? Happy boys. Let's go bring your girlfriends. Who else, is, who else is coming? Bounty and Capri, yeah. Well, let's see. It's gonna be an interesting combination of horses. Yeah, just because they'll stand by the gate and be annoying. Wayne, can you please close that gate, Thank you. Yeah, leave it for now, just for catching easier. No, oh, bounty. They all know each other. Guys, I'm 
to each other, so they should be fine now. Okay. So, um, and it says we need to find things to a little bit metal or something. We can even make it out of, for now, the rebut, the, the wire that you have now. Just to hook them into, because Bruno's in here, so he'll open all the locks. 